When I was in university, I hated Python, but now that I'm in my career, I absolutely love it. This video are the top reasons why devs like me and many others love Python. First one is that it is so easy to learn. And when I started learning Python, I was in university and was learning it informally because I was assigned some work that required Jupyter Notebooks. At the time, I hated it because I was forced to use it and I remember being particularly annoyed by the fact that it used the word none instead of null. However, I was really versed with Java and C at the time, and so when I got more and more used to it, it started feeling like executable pseudocode. This is mainly because Python is a typeless language and it's also an interpreted language. And what this means is basically that Python cuts a lot of corners and handles a lot of things for you. And so for developers, where you would typically get compile time errors, you're going to get runtime errors with Python. And so you just need to be cognizant of that, but everyone deals with that. And so that leads us into reason two, the community. There is a huge community for Python. It has been around for nearly 30 years now. And so with that time, there's been so many tutorials and forums created. No matter what you're dealing with, whether you're learning Python or dealing with a certain concept in your code, there's probably a tutorial that walks you through it or a forum where hundreds of people have asked the same question before. And then on top of that, if you have a problem that no one has asked yet, you can ask it and someone will probably get back to you. So the community is great. But next, we love that Python has virtual environments. And what virtual environments allow is for devs to encapsulate all of their scripts and libraries into one portable environment. At IBM, I've used Python many different times for many different projects. And with each project, it has its own virtual environment. This way, I could switch between the two environments and not have to worry about the different libraries and dependencies that go with each. Now, in a previous video, I talk about cloud migration and how we use Python scripts to analyze performance metrics. With that, we created a virtual environment for that project and I encapsulated it and shipped it off to the rest of my teammates. This way, we all have a consistent environment to run the code and can get consistent answers. Lastly, us devs love Python for its versatility. Now, Python is a general purpose language, and so it can be used across many different platforms. Everything from your mobile devices to laptops to servers, Python has got you covered. And with Python being versatile and having a huge community, there's libraries for nearly anything you can think of. I've personally used Python to develop some natural language processing, some AI development, some numerical analysis, and even automated stock trading. So, with IBM, or sorry, with Python being across different platforms, having so many different libraries and a great community, there's so much you can do with it. Now, Python's not going to be great when you need to tell a computer where to put those ones and zeros. However, for the vast majority of other things that you need to deal with, Python has got you covered. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe. If you're new to Python and want to learn more, check out the links below.